Janet Baring. I'm in Kaspew, Alaska. Yeah, the project that I've been involved with all summer has been the Five Parks Marine Debris Project. Everything went really well this summer. Um, we had a really great crew of volunteers. I'm Riley and I'm from Kenny Lake and I'm with the YCC crew. My name's Isaac and I am from Yakutat AK and I'm working out of YTT right now. It's a Yakutat Clinket tribe. We're just cleaning up the debris. There's a bunch of it that shows up on the shores and I mean it has to be cleaned up at some point. <laughs> Can't just leave it out here in this beautiful wildlife. Well, my name is Don Ferguson Jr., born and raised in Kotzebue. My name is Yayuk, I was born and raised here in Kotzebue. Uh, I work here at the North Society Borough for two and a half years. My name is Macy Kenworthy and I'm an SCA intern with the National Park Service. This is one of the projects I was really interested in doing because I'm from Kotzebue and it's really close to Kotzebue and it's really cool to get out and get to see what the Park Service is doing. So five different national parks in Alaska with Coastline got together and um, they decided to coordinate their marine debris cleanup efforts. The five parks involved were Kenai Fjords, Wrangell St. Elias, Katmai, Cape Krusenstern, and Bering Land Bridge. They needed someone to go around and do quality control basically on the protocols, so I got hired as a research tech. taking data on the debris. So we're sorting it into different into bags by the type. We have six categories, uh, plastic, foam, metal, rubber, ropes and nettings, and other. So each one of the categories will generally have a slightly different effect. Plastic is pretty well known as having a lot of harmful effects. And plastic and foam have some similar effects in the sense that they will both leach their chemicals into the environment. Um, I think a lot of people have heard about the like plastic Nalgene bottles leaching chemicals into the water you're drinking. Well, the same thing happens when a plastic water bottle is sitting on the beach. It's releasing um, toxins into the environment. It's also impacting wildlife because uh, seabirds, everything from seabirds to bears will think it's food or think it's something to chew on and that can be harmful to their digestive system. It can lead to starvation because it just you know, it sits there, it accumulates, it doesn't break down. And then they think they're full because their bellies are full, but they're not getting any nutrition. Um, that's a pretty common problem in seabirds. All the plastic that has ever been produced on Earth is still here. It's just breaking down into smaller and smaller particles. And so it's really important to get the larger pieces of plastic off of the beach before they become microplastics out in the ocean. And that's, I think that's our number one concern. The key thing is, you know, it's really a wildlife and a food security issue for Alaska. Um, so basically, if, if you were to leave marine debris on the beach, then out in the ocean, there's a pretty large reservoir of plastic. And over the years, it breaks down into smaller and smaller particles. It actually, uh, a lot of pollutants, things that we've banned in this country, for instance, um, glom onto those, and they're really easily taken up by fish and um, plankton, um, especially as they break down into smaller and smaller particles. It's really sad, like even around Katsuyu, you just go out and you see a ton of trash. I think it, it makes for a better, uh, a cleaner place to live and uh, play, you know, for the kids to go out there, you know, and there, there's uh, kids now that when they find out about the marine debris and they start reading about it and seeing about it and then they're more uh, cognizant about their trash. Instead of just drinking that pop and throwing it over on the side of the boat or on the beach and they, they think and they take uh, bags. I was talked about the, all the trash we see that's on the coastline there and sometimes we pick some of that up and take it back with us when we go and then we found out they're having this little cleanup thing so my wife and I decided to sign up for it. We did it real limited last year 
and we're taking full advantage of it this year. Already taken back 24 bags of trash and there's still a lot more but there are noticeable differences on some locations that we're picking from that is a lot more cleaner now than it was before. It's been a great experience to have people from all over the state of Alaska and um, from other parts of the country come and, and for um, local community members to meet outsiders and for outsiders to meet local community members on, on an issue that we could all, that we all care about and that we could all join together on. I have a passion for the ocean and I hate to see it so dirty and us just polluting it all the time. So it felt really good to get it cleaned.